Hello everyone, I'm Michael Serapio. A motion to extend a top-up to old age security will not see the light of day. Introduced by the Bloc Québécois in a private member's bill, it did gain the support of Conservatives, New Democrats, even a handful of Liberals. But because it is a money bill committing the government to spending billions of dollars, it needed the support of Trudeau and his cabinet, otherwise known as a royal recommendation. They did not give it, and here is the explanation we heard today from the government house leader, Karina Gould. It is not appropriate for an opposition day motion uh, to set the precedent of getting a royal recommendation this way. I also want to be clear that, as I have stated many times in the media, uh, I am in discussion with all parties uh, at all times to try and make this uh, parliament work, and that will be what I continue to do moving forward. Now, passage of this bill was one condition set up by the Bloc Québécois, and in exchange, the party said it would not vote the government out before the Christmas break. So, what happens now? To talk about this, we're joined by Christine Normandin. She is the Bloc Québécois Deputy House Leader. Uh, Madame Normandin, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure, Michael. Thanks for having me. Listen, you know, when we were talking last week, the government seemed open to this motion of extending the old age security top-up. Again, open, no commitments at the time. Mm -hmm. But now we have uh, the Prime Minister, his cabinet, many Liberals voting against it today. Does that decision surprise you in any way? Uh, not necessarily, and I don't think we can conclude that the bill is, uh, has no chance to pass from, from now on. It does send a uh, rather bad message. Does it make the window of opportuni uh, opportunity uh, be closing a bit more? Indeed. Is it completely closed? No. And uh, that, that's why we're, we won't um, uh, commit to, uh, to toppling the government right now. The, the, the way we did uh, mention that if we felt that at some point it would become impossible for the bill to pass, we would start having discussions with other parties. Uh, it makes it maybe a bit more difficult today, but it's not completely impossible. What the, uh, what the government has mentioned about voting against the bill was not because they don't want to extend the royal recommendation to the bill. It's because of a procedural thing. They don't want uh, to vote, to, be, uh, to have the government voting, uh, to have the government implement, uh, give the, the royal recommendation. So they didn't say no, they didn't say yes neither. But the, 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 we don't see the window as completely closed. So we're ready to give a bit more time because what we were aiming for from the beginning was to make gains. For, uh, for seniors, we still have a chance. Uh, it's growing thinner, but there's still a chance that we might achieve it since they haven't said uh, 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 no period, we won't, we won't allow it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the time seems to be running uh, against uh, the Liberals at the moment. But there's okay. still a chance that we, that we can get it and we'll give it a try. So a chance, as you say, and, and part of that is because it, it, we heard it from Karina Gould going into this, that they, they didn't want to set this precedent where essentially a money bill is being started by, by a private member's uh, motion rather than coming from the government. Does that mean then that there are talks happening behind closed doors between the Bloc and the, the Liberals on this. Well, there's discussions between uh, our House leader, uh, Alain Terrien, and uh, the leader of the government, Karina Good. So there's discussions, maybe not necessarily negotiations, but they, they explained uh, to each other their, their position uh, on the topic. So the, the, there's still uh, plenty of room to have discussion. We haven't closed the door. If the, the phone rings, we'll answer. So there's still room for that because we're... Uh, because we're acting in good faith and hoping to make uh, to make gains for uh, on both our bills, so there we, we have to answer the phone. We're not playing partisan games and just trying to topple the government for the sake of it. We're trying to get something. So we, uh, th as long as they're willing to discuss, we are willing to listen. Are, are you at all discouraged then when you hear Adam Vancouverden, who is a parliamentary secretary, is saying that he believes the the Bloc Québécois heart is in the right place, but he doesn't think this top up is necessary because it actually won't be addressing uh, seniors poverty as your party wants to do. Does that type of statement discourage you? 
Uh, well, not necessarily, uh, because when you think about it, the, the bill has, has passed second reading and has passed unanimously uh, in committee. So there's a will from all members in the House to have it go forward. And that's one of the reasons we decided to go on with that specific bill. It already already had approval from, from the House instead of, uh, and we, that's why we, we are so um, fierce on having that bill passed and not any other um, uh, possibility that the, co the, the government could come with uh, that could um, let either the Liberals or the NDP or the Conservatives try to make amendments with. And uh, the bill is already passed. It cannot be changed. So, and it, it, it uh, fixes a discrimination that has been created by the Liberals. So in that sense, we, we think it is the best option to, to go further with. And since it got a sense from a majority in the House already, we, we felt that um, we were acting in good faith in mm -hmm. asking for that bill to be passed. So with, notwithstanding other comments that you may hear on the, the grounds of the bill, it still got support. So you want this bill, as you say, it already has support. You want it to go forward as is. You, you still have this October 29th deadline. And what I'm hearing from you is you and your leader, your party has not given up hope on this actually passing. So that said, if these discussions are happening between the House leaders, I wonder what your discussions are behind closed doors with conservatives, because they are very anxious to bring this government down. Are those discussions happening at the same time? Well, f there, there's no reason at the moment to have those discuss discussions as, anyways, they voted with uh, with us on the bill, which they did uh, on the second reading uh, also before we came with uh, our ultimatum. Right now, it's more with the government that we have to discuss since it's in their power to grant the royal recommendation that could make the bill go further and eventually be adopted uh, for, by both houses. So it, the, our priority is so far with the Liberals. They have a say in what's to come in the next few days because, uh, yes, we have our ultimatum of the October 29th. But if we see before that that there's absolutely no chance that the bills will pass, we could start going uh, a bit faster with discussions than with other parties, including conservatives and the NDP. So let's say if in a few days, weeks from now, uh, nothing has moved, no royal recommendation has been granted, we'll know that it's impossible that the bills pass uh, third reading in the House and then Senate then we might start the discussions with opposition parties a bit earlier than the 29th. Christine Normandin, I always appreciate the time. Thank you for this again. It's a pleasure.